So let's talk about how we got into this place with regard to our society and the, the state of masculinity today. I'm talking specifically towards men. And I'm talking very practically now in a moment. I want to talk about what's practical, what's biological, what's anthropological, what is rooted in our DNA. If you think scientifically, really, we're super based. Like, in terms of material, we've fallen into the third dimension, right? We're living in a fallen state. And in that fallen state, there are rules like gravity, right? There's rules like you eat and then you poop. There's laws that's associated with this third dimension that we find ourselves in. There's beauty, God's imprint on it, but there are laws and the things that need to be done, whether you believe or not, right? Whether you believe in God or not, you still got to eat, right? Whether you believe in gravity or not, if you jump out of a building, you're going to fall, right? And so one of the things that's evident in our world, is, it's beautiful because we live in a in a world that we can interpret, right? That's why we have science. We can recognize patterns, right? Cyclical patterns. And so initiation is something that is a pattern that, well, anthropologists study and recognize is evident in all societies, has been evident, is happening either in a resourceful way or an unresourceful way in every society, even our own. And the pattern looks like this. It's a movement away from the world of the mother, atonement with the world of the father. A movement away from effeminacy, a movement away from pleasure, a movement away from vice, a movement away from matter, the matrix, all things sensually gratifying that we become very attached to because that's what we come from, our mother. And we believe, we start to believe that it's who we are. Even when you're a baby, they say that there's a love object relation where the baby thinks that it is its mother, but then there's a love object relation loss when the baby realizes, oh, my mother's that and this is me. That's how, that's how deeply ingrained we are with the material world and for us as human beings coming from our mother. For that boy to become a man, there must be a clean break from the mother because he's of a different order of being and called to a different place in life. Anytime you drinking and getting high, anytime you playing video games or rubbing your nut off, you're attached to the world of the mother. Wealth, power, pleasure, honor. All seeking created goods, material goods, mommy seeking. Most of the relationships that men get in today are merely replacements for their mommies because there's been no clean break from the mommy. This is what our ancestors would do. They would take a boy and they would take him up to the mountain and they would break him down, literally break him down, fast him for days, turn him into a raisin. And then start exacting punishment, challenges. Because you got to break that baby boy ego. How many of you have never had any real challenge in your life? Only perceived challenges. Oh, somebody hurt my feelings. And I'm not making fun of you. We just don't live in a world that subjects men to that kind of challenge. Those kinds of hardships. That kind of suffering. You must die. I've said this in one of my videos. A very popular video of mine. Where I talk about suicide rate with men. Suicide is real. The sense that you want to die is real. The only problem is it's not that your physical body needs to die. Your ego needs to die. Who you think you are. Your attached self. Your baby boy mama milk seeking self. Sucking on a bottle and chasing puss. That guy needs to die. But you get to rise. So there's that. There's the movement away from the mother. And, and, and mind you, there's a, there's a lot that needs to be done there. And there's a lot of people doing great work in that realm today. I feel like today in particular, man, the world is moving so fast. And you see how there are men in the social sphere, social media, videos, and whatnot, who are, who are making men feel proud about being disciplined. That's good. That's, a, that's teaching men a clean break from the mother. Jordan Peterson does this to a degree, right? To a degree. And there are other men like me that many of y'all know who show you you got to subject yourself to the pain of the barbell. Get into the gym. Work hard, right? David Goggins, right, is another one, right? Go run to your 
face falls off. That's punishment. That's austerity. That's challenge. That's cleaning the. That's having a clean break from the mother. But that's only half the battle, brothers. We live in a world with loss of meaning, complete loss of meaning. That loss of meaning can be encapsulated in the loss of father. We live in a matriarchy, make no mistake about it. That's why all this vice, that's why all this addiction, that's why all this attachment. What, what sentiment is sparked in your soul when you hear the word father even? Because there's a zeitgeist around father right now and it ain't so good. 90% of men have poor relation to their father. And that's significant. Both the father physically, literally, and metaphorically. Just like I use metaphor for material, for mother, med mother, material, matter. Father, father's metaphor is physical father, just like physical mother, but God the father. The word matter, mother comes from matter. The word father comes from pattern. We have over addiction and attachment to matter and hatred for pattern. Antonio Gramsci, the founder or one of the founders of cultural Marxism, which is the, is the subverting force of our day, ultimately it's communism, understood and voiced that in order to destroy the Western civilization after the world wars, they had it to, he said it in this way, they have to remove the father. And what that literally meant was you got to make the society atheistic and you got to break up the family. Where are we today? Men, I tell you that if you sever from the mother, but you have no atonement with the father, you'll still be a lost boy, only worse. If you're a high achieving businessman, executive or entrepreneur who's dominating in business, but struggle with drinking, drugs, overeating or any filthy vice, here's some advice. The biggest mistake that you could make is to try to quit cold turkey and use willpower to overcome your cravings. If you've ever quit for a few days or a few weeks only to self-sabotage by binging worse than before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Not only has my company helped thousands of men destroy vice and dominate life, I personally confronted and overcome the same struggles when I found myself hooked on weed at the peak of my business career. If you've got four minutes to listen to a coach who will help you achieve total self-mastery and control over your inner punk, then listen up. If you don't beat drinking, drugs, or any life-draining dependency, in 90 days or less, not only will my company give you your money back, we'll pay for your first month's stay at a rehab retreat of your choice. That's what you need to succeed. So let's go, bro. Just visit waronvice.com, fill out an application, and my team will get back to you with the details. Hope to see you on the inside. Done.